someone who has a vested interest in productivity, as a lot of you probably know. And part of that comes with examining like everything, including, including the phone workflow. And some of you may be like, why are you using an iPhone? Why are you even using a phone at all? If you're like a hardcore Luke Smith person, just get off the internet. Don't even participate in anything like this that could detract from your productivity. And like, I, I agree with a lot of those opinions, those kind of serious Luke Smith, like, just don't, don't do that kind of thing at all. But also practically, like, you have to communicate with people and phones are, they're very useful. Um, Apple, the reason for that is, I didn't really find the weird enthusiast corner of, of YouTube. And I know Android, like, it has hella better features, better support for things, better customizability. But my thing is, right, I don't, I don't want to spend time customizing my phone because I barely use it. And so I, I don't, I'm not going to replace this and get a new phone. You can see it's a little bit scratched up. There's some wires hanging off the back right now. Um, but yeah, I, I don't want to like spend all this time configuring my phone at all because I barely use it. And are they tracking devices? Yes, they are. They're like they're corporate conduits to to just sell all your information and stuff, but I'm really not that important. I have ad blockers. I don't really use it a lot, so I don't care. I'm not like I'm being followed around by the CIA or anything yet. So that's that's the reason for that. And also, huge unfortunate thing, um, but Apple has this whole gambit, if you don't know, where they've made like Android compatibility terrible. There's some effort to fix it, but like basically if you have an Android, and someone like adds you to a group chat with iPhones, you can't add any more people to that group chat. So it's just like a massive headache to add anyone to group chats. And it's it's literally digital racism and Apple is like both so evil and so genius for doing that because they, they locked in their market share. If you're not in the US, like the market share of Apple is like 95%, I would say. I don't know a lot of Android users. So unfortunate, but it is what it is. So let me walk you through my, um, what kind of setup I've got here. So like ultra focus phone setups are, they're kind of a cringe like YouTube kind of trend, but that it does work. The way I stay off my phone is it's just incredibly boring to use my phone. There's nothing on there that isn't like basically essential for productivity or communication. So you can see I've got like on this home screen, I have this weird kind of angle uh, my friend Julian put me onto this it's just easiest to click like phone wise onto it you can flip the order if you're left-handed but whatever um, so I've got just a battery widget tells me what kind of stuff I've got going on with all the different batteries just for airpods which I know proprietary again but the hardware is just amazing um, Libby that's the audiobook app fantastic app free audiobooks infinitely the only social media I have anymore other than YouTube obviously is Strava I might make a full video about that but that's like I think the only good remaining social media and they're low-key like kind of ruining it right now but it's basically a social media for athletes and runners especially um, yeah and it's like the least distracting social media it's so boring you cannot scroll on it then I've got Vim obviously for uh, when I'm doing 10 hour coding sessions on that the LSP support isn't quite as good as NeoVim on a computer but you know small complaints for the ergonomics you get um, then I have this app I won't open it because I probably have some random embarrassing ass emails but it's called Edison Mail this is the best iOS mail client by far hands down the reason for that is it has like a little you know when there's all these people all these corporations are spamming you like newsletters and stuff and on the default mail app, you have to like click and then click like unsubscribe through their portal and like navigate through links and they want to make it hard for you. Edison has a thing where it's like you click unsubscribe and it just does that asynchronously in the background. Just a banger feature, great app in general. You can put all your inboxes in it. So I have like my, I don't know, I have four or five in there. And then WhatsApp for European shoddies. And then the phone app, obviously. And then Spotify, Messages, Camera, those are pretty self-explanatory. Um, I like to have the weather for the side here. I don't want to like waste time loading up the whole weather UI. It's like hella bloated, so I just go to the side here. You can see it's pretty nice where I am right now. Um, and then and then you got the, like, the rest of the app library. I don't think there's anything that noteworthy. I don't really use any other... All the apps that I need are on my home screen, basically. That's pretty much all I use on the phone. It's only for bare essentials, pretty much. 
And one important thing is, you do not want to be picking up your phone with the intent to do anything fun. What I want is to pick this up, open it up, and it's like hella boring. And I just want to get it off, get off of it like as quickly as possible. You know, it's like intolerable. To, not intolerable, but there's nothing fun you can do. Yeah, I just, there's, there's nothing good to do on it at all. But still, I think like the practical, the practical trade-off is important. You want to still be able to text people. Listening to music and audiobooks is very nice. So I, I do respect the opinion, like just get rid of your phone altogether. But at the same time, like it is quite nice sometimes to have access to just the, the common smartphone features. Um, this is, yeah, this is kind of for Luke Smith crab people. Like this Loki sounds schizo as hell if, if you don't really, if you're not on that part of insane productivity, but yeah, it is what it is. And the, the back of this, for anyone wondering, is I think it's just a testament to how good this phone is. Oh, and I didn't even mention what, what model this is. This is an iPhone 13 mini. Uh, I like mini iPhones because they're, I have small hands. They're discontinued now, which is unfortunate. But if you're gonna buy Apple stuff, people are always ragging on Apple for being hella overpriced, and I agree. It's proprietary and kind of trash, especially MacBooks. But the iPhone build quality is it's kind of legendary, and if you want to be on the correct side of digital racism in the U.S., like, and you want to just get an iPhone, iPhone 13 mini or iPhone SE, go on eBay and get them refurbished. You can get them for pretty cheap. People on Android are always like price evangelists, but they're just not thrifting hard enough. Like, you can get iPhones the price of mid to low tier androids and again no hate to android like if you're on that side it's it's probably better in, in a lot of ways but this does everything i need it to it's like I, i'm not not added to group chats by people i mean i'm not like so intolerable people wouldn't do that anyway but you know it's just um it is what it is hopefully you learned something from this video um if not i don't really care I made like two cents in ad revenue off you, assuming you don't have an ad blocker, but yep, I'll see you next time.